So you want to be an influencer and you're asking all of your favorite YouTubers under pretty much all of their videos, what camera equipment do you have? How do you film a video? How do you edit a video? In today's video, I am going to be telling you the secret and I'm talking like top secret, how to be an influencer behind the scenes, what nobody shares. Today's video is in partnership with Happy Hazel, which is a new YouTube series that I am obsessing over. I really loved this series. It was really an amazing series on everything that has to do with being an influencer down to friendships, relationships, family, business. It is the most realistic version of what it's like being an influencer and how it feels kind of living your day-to-day -day life. So we're gonna talk more about Happy Hazel in today's video. Link will be down below to watch it. And yeah, if you guys wanna know the secrets of being an influencer, then keep on watching today's video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's get into it. The first thing we're gonna talk about is filming equipment. I feel like this is the topic that I was stressing over starting out to being a YouTuber. I did not know what to buy. I felt like every single video told me to get something different. Let's start out with the ring light. It's very important to have a ring light along with natural lighting. Natural lighting is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. The sun goes in and out of a lot of my videos and it annoys the hell out of me. So I would suggest doing artificial lighting. I did notice in James Charles's video that he literally films in his basement and that is genius. One day when I have a mansion, I will be doing that exact setup because it was so genius. Artificial lighting is really good. Natural lighting is great if you can't afford it, but we're gonna talk about camera and lenses. When you buy a camera and everybody will say, oh, I have a Canon T5i, I have a Canon 80D, I have a Canon Mark V. All of these different cameras are great, but the truth is you need to invest in a good lens. Your camera body is your camera body. It's going to do the same thing pretty much throughout. It's your lens that is important. When I first started out on YouTube, I used the Canon T5i with the kit lens. I think I ended up spending around seven or $800 for this camera. It was not cheap and it looked terrible. The background didn't look good. I didn't look good. You couldn't adjust the settings really well and it was just a whole mess. So I would suggest investing in a lens and buying a camera body without the kit lens. You'll end up saving money. A few lenses that I personally like are the Sigma lenses. Sigma 18 to 35 is the one that I use the most for all of my videos. Honestly, what I like about it is pretty simple. You can adjust it to where your background is blurry and you are more centered and focal point of the video. You want yourself to really come alive. When you're sitting in front of your background, you don't wanna look like you melt into it. So what's great about this lens, it blurs the background, it makes everything look nice and smooth, you can adjust the lighting and it looks more professional. And to really truly invest, it takes years, like years and lots of money. So I'm really starting off with a pretty simple, simple, simple look. I have a ring light, a tripod and a camera with a decent lens and a microphone, which we will get into mics later into the video. What I loved about Happy Hazel was that she had an incredible setup. It was definitely something that I see my future self having. Okay, so my second piece of advice is me talking from literal experience and it is to set up your entire equipment before you do a video. What I mean by this is set up your tripod, your camera, your lighting and your settings before you even put makeup on your face. The reason why is because many years ago when I would make YouTube videos, I would set up after doing my hair and makeup and I hated my setup. Like it would take me 30 minutes to make sure the angle was right and the lighting was right and the settings was right. And literally after all of that, I was sweating and I would sit down for a video and I would go, Hey guys, welcome back for a video. I was out of breath and I was sweating my ass off. Save that and don't do that unless you literally have to because you didn't think about filming until the second it happened. But try to set up beforehand and if you are lucky enough to have an office, just have your setup ready to go so that you can just sit down to film. There's a lot of YouTubers who film in front of the same setup. I don't, so I have to set up before I film. No matter how much clothes you own, it doesn't matter when you become a YouTuber, you will feel like you have no clothes. It kind of brings me back to high school when I didn't want to be an outfit repeater and I didn't want to wear the same outfit in the same month like I was that girl in high school. That's how YouTube feels. If you are on a consistent schedule of posting twice a week, three times a week, you are going to run out of clothes. So what I would say is to invest in really, really, really neutral basic pieces like the shirt I'm wearing today where it's tan, you can wear it different ways. If I have a black wig on, I change up my jewelry, you won't even know I'm wearing the same shirt. I mean, maybe you will, but it would be less noticeable than if I was wearing 
I don't know, like a word on my shirt or a specific type of top that you really enjoyed and you would know if I wore it again. This is a super weird topic, but it's important to know these things as a YouTuber that you need to invest. Zara has good basics, Naked Wardrobe, um, JLux The Label. Those are all of my go-tos for basics and I wear basics all the time. You guys know this and I always dress it up with jewelry. The tech side of YouTube is crucial. You need to study YouTube. You need to know what it means to have keywords. You need to know what it means to have tags and good titles and monetization, all of those things. It's really so important to know the ins and outs of YouTube. I, speaking from experience, this is me telling my legit secrets for years, didn't even know that I could place ads on my own videos. And now I know, and it makes a world of a difference in my financial part of my journey of YouTube. You need to know the technology of YouTube. If you don't know the technology, then you will be selling yourself short, you will be taking less income from YouTube and you just won't be growing as much. So really study YouTube. If you wanna be a YouTuber, it means something to you, you need to study it and do it well. And yes, it might be difficult to learn how to edit and it might be difficult to learn how to, you know, put tags and which tags to put, but nobody said it was easy. I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but I am introverted and extroverted. And what I mean by this is my whole life, I've always known how to have a conversation with somebody. Like I'm not like shy, but I'm more introverted in the sense that I do like to spend a lot of time alone. So I like to call myself both. When you become a YouTuber, talking to a camera is friggin' weird. I can speak for both me and my boyfriend. We have two completely different personalities. He's more shy, I'm more outgoing, and we can both vouch and say that talking in front of a camera is weird. So I don't think it's a personality thing as much as it's just a weird thing. Practice talking in front of the camera and really watch it back and criticize yourself from an outside's perspective because I know when I first made YouTube videos, I was talking like so weird. I would probably be like, Hey guys, welcome back for a video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I don't talk like that. Like I literally don't talk like that. And I've talked about this in a previous video actually, but you really have to practice talking on camera and how you want to, you know, yourself to sound. A microphone is really crucial and important. I would say that my sound quality on YouTube could be better, but it's not bad. I do invest in microphones. I've had microphones for over a year now, and I think it's important. If you do not have good sound quality on a YouTube video, somebody will click off in like the first few seconds because sound is everything. YouTube really touches all of your senses, and one of a very important sense is your sound. It's how you hear things. and. If a video has a lot of noise in the background and it's not super focused on the person's voice, I ain't watching it. Like, I don't care how good the video is. It's it's just, I'm not gonna be watching it. I wanna be able to hear the person clearly like over me cooking pasta in the kitchen because that's who I am, I'm busy. I can't watch YouTube videos in a completely quiet room all the time. And I do notice that there are some YouTubers that I can hear better than others, like really well and then like I'm, not able to hear them at all. So really focus on audio and also focus on projecting your voice a certain way. Okay, so this is probably one of my best tips because the second I started doing this, things change for me. Taking notes for topic videos is so important. What I mean by this is when you are talking about a topic, you cannot just base it off of what's in your head. I have watched a lot of YouTubers do makeup tutorials where they're like talking about a topic and they get lost a lot and they don't remember what they said last because they're not reading off of a list. I have a list right here in front of me of literally what this video is about today because I need to know what I'm going to talk about. Yes, I obviously know kind of what I want to say, but you got to hit all those points. Taking notes, having them in your phone or having them on a piece of paper will really separate you from a lot of people and it'll make you a lot more organized. So I would suggest to do this and it's okay. Don't read off of your notes like literally read off of them because it won't be authentic, but use them as a way to just kind of remind yourself about certain things that you wanted to bring up that you don't want to forget. Okay, so let's talk about mental health struggles. And I do think this is really important being a YouTuber for many reasons. One being that it is a very isolating job at times. And you do realize that you experience burnout because one, you're overworking yourself. Two, you don't have any ideas. Maybe one week you literally don't have a single video idea that you can think of, which is fine. And or you have personal issues going on and it's affecting your channel. This is so important to address. In Happy Hazel, which I'm gonna kind of talk about now, she really was going through a lot of personal struggles in her life. She was kind of trying to figure out who she was and who she wanted to please and who she didn't wanna please. I really noticed a lot of character flaws in her character 
And it was good character flaws because it made me feel more human. And I really think that when you address things in yourself, like your mental health and things you have going on, you are going to be a overall better YouTuber. My number one advice is to treat YouTube like a job if this is going to be your career. If this is not your hobby and you really wanna do this for a career, treat it like one. Nine to five, you're a YouTuber, right? You're gonna film, you're gonna edit, you're going to answer emails, you're gonna answer comments, you're gonna engage. Five o'clock comes around, you need to disconnect and get back to your real life. The more that you treat social media like a business, it will feel like one and you won't go through a lot of the mental struggles that other people go through like seeking so much attention and validation. They are lying and having constant highlight reels and just not living their true life. When I turn off the camera, I'm back in my pajamas, I take off my makeup, I'm eating a slice of pizza and I'm watching TV. I am normal and I think that that actually hinders me a little bit from being a real YouTuber because I think most YouTubers are better influencers than me because they make it their whole life. But I like my life this way because it does help me mentally. Editing YouTube videos is an art. It's important. A lot of people don't address this much, but if you watch your favorite YouTuber, even somebody who doesn't even come off super tech savvy, do you notice that their YouTube editing style if you try to replicate it, it's actually quite difficult. It's because it is. Editing is something that you need to learn. I really think you can make an amazing, amazing video. And if it's not edited right, nobody's watching or caring. Well, we are actually chasing the sun right now. If you guys can tell, it's golden hour. So uh, I hope the sun doesn't set before I capture a thumbnail. So right now I am trying to drive to a location where I can get a good picture for the thumbnail. I kind of have an idea of exactly what I wanna do, but to be honest, like, stuff just never always executes the way you want it to. So fingers crossed that it's a good thumbnail. And if it is, it's probably because, you know, I really tried, but if you clicked and you are at this point, it's probably because you liked it or the title. One of the two. This is a really important part of being a YouTuber, trying to switch it up and do cool thumbnails. So yeah, it's not just like a quick little pick from inside of your house all the time, sometimes you gotta like switch it up. So that's what we're doing. You need to learn how to edit and that's just a fact. I can't like teach you guys how to edit because I'm honestly still learning myself. I am nowhere near the editing style that I wanna be at and I am still learning and it's very difficult and time consuming. I would say if you have a plan to post a video, map out like two to three days to just spend editing it. It's a lot smarter than waiting till the night before like I do most of the time. But I would suggest to really step it up with editing. It will determine you from being a good YouTuber to a great YouTuber. And all of your favorite YouTubers, if you really think about it, are amazing editors. Let me say this as well. Do not steal other people's editing styles. It is so, so, so inappropriate. And coming from somebody who takes a lot of inspiration from others, I like to take inspiration from many different YouTubers and try to combine them on my channel. Rather than stealing somebody's entire style, it might be YouTube etiquette. In my opinion, it is. It's really difficult to be original nowadays because everybody has done something, but find a way to make it yours. And I think that that's the most appropriate way to handle things. The people who are the most successful on YouTube have their own way of doing things, and it's because they are different. So stand out, be different. This is your platform to be authentic, different, and original. Remember guys, YouTube is one of the most rewarding jobs ever if you ever get to have it and are lucky enough to have it as a career. I really feel like it was the job that was meant for me and I constantly beat myself up over even just the fact that I feel like I should be doing more because I love it that much. And I think that once you guys master it and you enjoy it and you find what's right for you, it is going to be the best job ever and you're gonna see everyone in your life working and you're gonna think to yourself, wow, I have the greatest job in the world. I get to make money for just being myself. That's freaking awesome. I hope this helped all of my new influencers and just even already existing YouTubers who need a little boost and a little help. I did my best. If you guys have any other questions, please leave them down below and I will answer you guys promptly if you guys watch like the first 24 hours. And I really love you guys so much and I hope this helped all my new YouTubers out there. Good luck. Bye guys. Now here is a trailer to watching Happy Hazel. Make sure that you guys watch and subscribe to their YouTube channel now. It's Hazel! You know me, it's Hazel. So what are you, like a celebrity? Ooh, I love you, Hazel! Ooh. I make internet videos. No one needs you to make them happy.
Don't you think it would be good to do a video of something normal? My views aren't doing so great. I didn't ask for any of it. I just wanted to make people happy. That's not how I feel.